and I'm just honored to have you and and these other people in my life because you know it's it we are good people getting good messages out there what is that like when someone can't see the hope what can they do to navigate so that they can what an amazing question and it's so very relevant and very very important for people to know that goodness i believe goodness and honesty and truth and, and love prevails. You have to realize that sometimes justice will not prevail. And the life that you had or thought that was your life might not prevail. You might have to have a completely different life. But there is hope. I would say all of us that have been through these experiences, we don't wake up and realize that we've been, yet we're in this situation. Everything that has happened to us has been very methodically planned out for a long time. We were actually chosen before we got into the relationship with the narcissist. We were probably interviewed and screened and they chose us because of our loving, empathetic nature that we believe in the goodness of humanity, and that we are someone who will give the shirt off our backs to anyone. Why do you share your story? Um, and I think our voices matter because we we do need to share, yeah. um, whether we're sharing super personal experiences or whether we're generalizing it. Um, you know, I think it's important to hear what other people have gone through and how they handled these challenges because then it helps you, you know, or helps your listener decide, well, I can't do that, but maybe I can do this. And it gives right. them a little bit of a hope to know that they are not alone because really going through this, you, you lose everything and everyone in many ways. And you have to, uh, reinvent yourself and, and, you know, find strength mostly within. Uh, what? so I think it's very helpful to, to speak about these things. Hi, I'm Victoria. It's advice time. How can I become a survivor thriver after narc abuse? So I would say to someone who's going through this about being a survivor, you know, first get yourself grounded in reality of what, what the situation is. Open your eyes. Um, you know, go deep within yourself as to who you are as a person and stay strong to your values. You know, honor who you are. Um, Sometimes you might have to reinvent yourself. You might have to go back to school. Uh, you might have to um, switch careers and go into a different field. You might, um, you you know, most of us have to move to a different situation. You know, we can't stay where we were. Um, so, you know, that's realize that, you know, life as you knew it is going to be changed. Okay. And that's okay. Okay. 